and great weather over there at the Cape. This is great, a great day for Falcon 9 is in startup. And great news. It's a great day for a launch. Falcon 9 is now in startup. We are now just waiting for the final go from the launch director. Falcon 9, Starlink 416, LD is go for launch. And great news, we are go for launch. 30 seconds. Now with all systems go, let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 53 Starlink satellites into orbit. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites. Now, although at liftoff, gravity is pulling the vehicle straight down, as we ascend, we tilt the engines. Power telemetry nominal. And tilting those engines is called gimbling. That turns the rocket horizontally, and you can kind of see that there on your screen. So we are still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad and that is what we call a gravity turn. And we are coming up on max Q here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've just passed through max Q. Now that's the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent and we have passed through it. So next up will be a series of events First will be Miko, or main engine cutoff, and that's where all nine of the Merlin engines will shut down. And that slows the vehicle down in preparation for the second milestone, which Start is- Start of MVAC engine chill. The second uh, milestone will be stage separation. That's where the first and second stage separate from each other. First stage will start to make its way back to Earth, and the second stage will continue on its journey. With vehicle is following a nominal trajectory with SES-1, or second stage engine startup one. And that's where the single Merlin vacuum engine will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We've got some awesome views watching Falcon 9 on ascent. We're just about 15 seconds away from those three events, Miko, stage separation, and SES-1. Just about 10 seconds or so after SES-1, we should also see the fairing halves jettison from the second stage. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> and back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And some incredible views there. We just had Miko's stage separation. You can see those fairing halves on your right-hand screen Both falling back to Earth. Nominal trajectories. And got some nominal call-outs. The MVAC engine lit up on the second stage. The first stage grid fins have deployed. So on your left-hand screen, you're looking at a view from the first stage. On your right-hand screen, you're looking at a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. While that second stage is doing its job, that first stage is coming back home to Earth, and it'll execute two burns to get back home. First is the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine M1D engines reignite, and that helps to slow the stage down as it's entering back into the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. 
And the atmosphere actually helps to scrub a lot of the velocity of the vehicle until the second and final burn, which is the landing burn. That's a single engine burn that brings the, the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to touch down on the drone ship. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. And again today, we will be attempting to land on just read the instructions. And each one of these M1D engines it's about 190,000 pounds of thrust, so we do only use one engine for that final landing burn to touch down on our drone ship. And the drone ship, just for size, is about equivalent to a... Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. It's equivalent to the size of a football field, so it's pretty large. We're just a couple minutes away from the entry burn starting up on the first stage. First stage also has four landing legs made of carbon fiber, aluminum, honeycomb. And they're placed symmetrically uh, around the Falcon 9 vehicle instead of the base of the vehicle. They just deploy just right before the vehicle touches down. Got some great views here. Again, on your left-hand screen is a view looking aft, uh, now looking forward, <laughs> of the first stage. And on your right-hand screen, a view of the second stage. Again, looking at the MVAC engine, but we got a great view of the Earth in the background of both of these views. Again, today we are carrying our Starlink satellites to their drop-off orbit. And on your left-hand screen, you might see some uh, white puffs there. there go. Uh, those are nitrogen gas puffs. Um, those help with attitude control, as well as the grid fins helping to guide the vehicle back to the landing zone. Everything's still looking nominal. Stage two on a nominal trajectory. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, FTS is saved. And on your left-hand screen, you can see those engines reigniting. This burn will last about 20 seconds long. This is the entry burn for the first stage. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And as you saw, those engines shut down. That concludes the entry burn. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And just the call-outs that we want to hear, everything is still looking nominal for both vehicles. And we are just about a minute away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Again, as I mentioned, the atmosphere helps to scrub a lot of the velocity as first stage makes its way back to the landing zone after the entry burn has concluded. And we got a great view here of the second stage. And I mentioned that soot earlier on the first stage um, as you saw, the the vehicle, stage one transonic. the first stage vehicle actually enters back into the Earth's atmosphere with the engines first, so it is flying through its own plume, uh, and the fuel for Falcon 9 is a kerosene, which is carbon-based, and that's what uh, creates that that soot onto the vehicle. We are coming up on the landing burn here for stage first one, stage. Landing burn. Great timing, landing burn has begun. Again, this will also last about 20 seconds and we should see the landing legs deploy just before touchdown and some great views here. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. <laughs> Incredible views. Falcon 9 has landed on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. What an incredible landing. This marks the 117th recovery of a first stage booster. 
And we are coming up on Seco, which is second stage engine cutoff one in a few seconds second here. Second engine cutoff. Nominal parking orbit. And great callouts. We just had Seco one, that's second stage engine cutoff one with a confirmation of good orbit. So with that successful confirmation of second stage engine cutoff and a good orbit, we will be ending our webcast for today's launch. Now, as mentioned previously, we will be confirming payload deploy via our social channels, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you to the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting Acquisition our of signal. For supporting our mission today. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our service at this time. Keep an eye out on our social channels for the latest SpaceX news, and we'll see you next time.